before we start, I do want to mention for a lot of people who don't know, the Maltese language is the only Semitic language in Europe. And while there are a lot of words in common between uh, Maltese and Arabic, when you, we look at the Tunisian dialect of Arabic, there are even more words in common. So in this video, we're going to do uh, both words that are uh, in common with modern standard Arabic and Maltese, as well as a few uh, specific words that are unique to the Tunisian dialect. So just, just for, for the audience to know that. Um, so when you're ready, we can start off and do introductions. So Ons, go ahead and introduce yourself first. Hi everyone, my name is Ons, I'm Tunisian and I speak Arabic. Uh, hi, my name is David and I speak Maltese. Okay, so we'll start off. You can read the first word. So the first word is calcita. Calcita. Um, is it like um, a pie? No, it's calcita, no. not calcita. Say calcita. Again, sorry. calcita. Calcita. Oh, um, calcetti, socks. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is one of the interesting ones because in, in standard Arabic, it's different. Yeah. Okay. okay, but we're going to do a lot of words later that are in common with other Arabic dialects as well. So, David, when you're ready, you can do uh, your first one. Yes, so, Ares. Ares? Yes. It's a wedding? Ares? No, uh, there is a similar word, but it's, it doesn't mean wedding, no. Ares. Aris. 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 Yeah, it's, uh, it's a flavor. Me? Excuse me? It's a flavor of Wait. sorts. Well, a flavor profile rather. Think of certain fruits. Ah, it's Aris. It's uh, sour? Correct. <laughs> okay, Aris, okay. Wait, I have lemon in my water, so. <laughs> yeah, second word is Cugina. Kitchen. Cugina. Yeah, exactly, yes. <laughs> this next one is Sptar. Sptar? Sptar, yes. Ah, hospital? Sptar? Yep. <laughs> okay. Exactly. <laughs> I mentioned yeah. that Sptar in standard Arabic is uh, Mustashfa, and yeah, we say it's Sptar. Yeah. Let's do the next one. This is used in many different Semitic languages. The word is uh, khal. Khal, uh, vinegar. Exactly, yes. <laughs> the exact same word, khal. Uma. Uma? Uma. Uma. Mm, it's one M, uma. Umap or uma. Oh. Uma, there's no B or P. No. Uma. It's like Uma to go swim or something? No, um, although that word is Alma. Uh, but Uma, it's, um, it's more common than that. It's a personal pronoun. A person? Uma. Yeah. Ah, Uma, Uma, they. Like... That's right. Ah, okay. Uma, we say Uma. Yeah. All right. It's funny because we have the silent H as well as the accentuated one, the uh, strong one, the H, but in this case it's silent. Um, ah. The only, the main difference is you put an extra line on the top of the H when it's strong. Zahka. Zahka? Mm -hmm. Is there a TH? There's nothing to do with sort of a rule, um, like a king's rule. No, it's something you do when you're happy, <laughs> I could say. Oh, titcha, uh, laugh. Yes, laughter, yes, exactly. Okay, dachka is a smile yes, or a exactly. type of laugh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that one is shared with uh, standard Arabic as well, so. Exactly, yes. Okay. Jelat. Ah, uh, gelat is uh, ice cream. Yep. Okay, yes. Okay. But we say uh, whether gelat or glass. It's the French word for uh, glass. Ice cream. Yeah, of course. Bala. 
Bala, uh, Bala, sort of a lot of something? Mm, no. <laughs> it's. Do you need a hint? <laughs> mm, say it again, maybe. Bala, Bala. Uh, Pala, um, a shovel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> P, okay, Pala, all right. But because you can also say il pala taideik, the palm of your hand. In ah, okay. As well. Okay. Aita. Aita? Yes. Aita? Aita. Aita? Uh, the scream? Yes, it's, it's a scream, exactly. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, we say aha. Okay. Ayat yeah. or uh, ayat. That's yeah. the past tense, ayat. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so now we'll do the sentence, or well, two sentences each, and uh, see how you can uh, pick, like what you can pick up from it. Like even if you can figure out this whole sentence, just see if you can pick parts of it out and just try to decipher it. So once okay. you can read your first sentence and see how David does with it. Okay. So, Right, so Lyum is today. Arva mm kilo, -hmm. uh, four kilos and grapes. Exactly, yes. <laughs> and there was something else. Um, the, the last bit I didn't quite know. Yeah, yeah, so I uh, said uh, today I bought four kilos uh, grapes because I love it so much. <laughs> because I love it so much. Okay, hebu mhof. Barsha, yeah. Barsha is a typical word, uh, Tunisian word for uh, very much or, yeah. Okay, we just say hafna in Maltese. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, like, we're, like even, even there are cases where the words are the same, uh, or, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just the way you conjugate the words, uh, how you would say it in Maltese, uh, that may sound a little bit different, but it really, like, they share yeah. the same root. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the first bit I understood her perfectly. Um, without any <laughs> second thought to it, because the I, because I love them so much that uh, yeah, confuse me. So, don is arbunt atta alekin da seker hees. Again, please. Dan is arbun atta alek kin da sek. Irhis. The key word is irhis. If you get that, it's enough for me anyway. Irhis. Ah, sheep. Khis. It's yes. Sheep. Ah, okay. Something is cheap. You bought something cheap or. Yeah. Um, zarbun. Um, can you, you want to take a guess? Zarbun? Yes. Uh, a carpet, zarbiya, or something? No, uh, that's tapete. Um, shoes. It's a shoe. Ah, okay, we say tabat <laughs> for shoes. Ah, okay. Yeah, this one is probably the trickier of the two. Um, basically, what I said was these shoes are torn. That's why they were so cheap. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay uh, it. Is to be ripped or to tear, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, كل أبن. كل مكلة... مكلة is like a meal. Exactly, yes. <laughs> okay. Taban is tayyip, which is good. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. So every meal, something, something is good. Uh, okay. you... Repeat it. Okay. كل مكلة معتوم تكون أبن. Mm, Macoon. Did I get the keyword? Uh, just out of curiosity. The keyword is something else, actually. Yeah. But oh, wow. you got you got most of the sentence except yeah. you, if you get the keyword, I think you can figure it out. Okay. Okay. The keyword is tum. Oh, uh, teum garlic. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Every meal that has garlic in it is good. Yeah, almost. Every meal with garlic tastes better. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good, yeah. 
aw min ihott il-mor oħran jipreferu l-ħelu. Okay, again, please, and word by word. So, aun min ihop il mor, ohrain y preferu el helu. Okay, so el helu is sweet and mor is bitter. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, and preferu is to prefer. Mm -hmm. yeah, prefer bitter um, things than sweet, or. Kind of. Um, I mean, a hop. So a hop. And have like love. To love or to like, yes. So I mean, is there are some who like sour. Uh, okay. Rain, you prefer el hello. Okay. Whereas yeah. others prefer sweet. Okay. The numbers too are almost the same. Oh, well, the numbers are exactly the same except for cipher. We just say zero. Ah, okay. You don't say, okay, no, we say zero, yeah. It's true, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But for example, in Maltese, yeah, the first five numbers are we, het, nei, tleta, erva, hamsa. Yeah. And the days of the week do are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah, nar et nei, nar et tleta, nar l'erva, il hamis, il jema, el sept, il hat. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly the same, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Like when whenever I hear the the Maltese language being spoken to me, it just sounds like Arabic. Uh, I, I just because there's so many different dialects of Arabic, so it just to me like it really does sound like Arabic. I, with with you know like a lot of times people speak Arabic here in Canada and they throw in some English words in the middle, so that's just what it sounds like, you know. <laughs> we have that here in uh, Belgium as well, actually, where uh, some of the younger uh, third generation Arab um, youths will throw in words like um, yalla and flus, which we both, you know, which we have in Maltese as well. But uh, one thing, you know, about yalla, uh, the funny thing is in Maltese, it doesn't mean hurry up, it means God willing, so to speak. Okay. So it's like inshallah. Yeah, because we don't have in inshallah. So because it's interesting, since in Spanish and Portuguese, a, a, a derivative of inshallah is used as well, uh, mm -hmm. and it just it means hopefully. Like there's no like there's no religious uh -huh. connotation around yeah. it. It just means like oshala in Portuguese is actually very close. So it, it comes idea. from that way. It just means like hope. Hopefully this will hopefully. happen. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, better than God willing. Hopefully. But you can pr translate it as God willing as well. It's quite correct. Anyways, thank you again. I don't know if you want to add anything else, but uh, I, I really enjoyed this. It was, it was wonderful. I enjoyed it very much as well, actually. Thank you, Bahadur. And I hope you enjoyed, like the guys who are watching. Absolutely. Yeah, same. For sure. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Take great. care. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.